Okay, so what is my writing process basically? Um, right, I mean, if I'm doing a paper, a book, a chapter, whatever, I think the first thing I do is at some point I sit down maybe on the sofa or maybe at a, uh, on the sofa with a pad and, and a ballpoint or maybe uh, at a desktop and I just write out what's in my head and that then is a very imperfect product but it's kind of a net in which I can catch the fish that I need to. Now what have I actually done before that? Two things I think really. Um, one is to open a file on the topic and put lots of bits and pieces of information and ideas in there. Uh, but I keep that file closed when I do that first bit of writing and then I look at it afterwards and I see, oh yeah, I should have put that in there and that in there and I revise it. The other thing that I think I must always have done is to think about the subject enough that somewhere at the back of my mind a structure has formed um, so that when I start uh, you know, when I sit at the desktop or sit on the couch, it can come out. Um, so it must already be there and then it comes out. Um, and then, I mean, you know, the rest of it after that is a matter of, um, you know, re revising, uh, polishing the style, realizing you've got a big gap here, realizing you've got to go to the library for this, that, the other, and so on and so forth. Um, but I mean, once that first draft is there, uh, you know, that's at least half the struggle. Now, how it's evolved, um, I can remember once trying to write a bit of my dissertation in London um, as a graduate student, and it just wouldn't come right, and I had this sort of pile of papers, and I'd start on one sheet, and I'd write it, and it wouldn't be any good, and I'd throw it out and start again, and this sort of went on all afternoon. Now, I mean, how I got from that to what I do now is something I really don't know. It somehow has become much easier.